Look, I know what you guys are thinking. It's been a hot, hot minute since I've done a video. And yeah, look, I've been slack. I know, I know you don't have to rail me. But today, I just want to give you a quick update on what the market's looking like, because a lot of you seem to be asking me for tips. God knows why, but I'm actually doing all right this year. Uh, actually, I'll show you my team quickly. But in case you aren't already in the Twitch, we're going to be streaming tonight and we stream all the time. But we're going to be rocking this team in foot champs. We have... 10 gifted subs of the line if we run Zlatan for 10 games. No, not 10 games. All 20 games. And I think we're not allowed to sub them off. I'm going to try and try and talk to the viewers and see if I can make it so I can sub them off in the 60th minute mark. Because I'll tell you what, this man, he's got what? Fucking next to no stamina? 34. Yeah, cool. Um, anyway, so that's going to be happening um, tonight. So hopefully we get some good rewards for you guys. But regardless, um, we're also going to be opening up some packs for you. But what I really want to talk to you about is the market right now. So my transfer profit isn't looking too shabby. I have packed uh, Diego for land and I sold him for 500k. So that's where a chunk of this money is actually come from. It probably, probably a quarter of it's come from that. Uh, but regardless, despite that, I haven't packed anything really. I packed two discard informs on the first day. So we're not looking too shabby and we're making rapid profits. So I just want to go over some investments with you guys and what I've been doing recently and what the market looks like for the next few days. Um, so today is the 7th um, of October and we've got the Road to the Final promo coming out tomorrow. Um, but currently I have made a massive loss, a big, big L chat on a bunch of 84s and Diogo Dallos. Diogo Dallo will actually go up, and I know a lot of people have already invested in Diogo Dallo, which is why he is struggling right now. Um, probably, I'd, I'd give it another week or so, and this guy will probably be 20K plus. Um, but I'd prefer to just get out and cut my losses now, as well as all these 84s. I thought they were going to rise. They haven't. If I hold on to them, they will rise, but... I don't, I don't, I don't love it. I can't, I can't hold on to them for too long. So I want to invest in other stuff. Whereas I'd, I'm happy to take my losses. Um, however, this week we're looking at Raphael Lau. We're looking at Schlotterback. We're looking at these sorts of players, and I'll, I'll show you, I'll show, show you guys why. I haven't invested too hard yet. Um, but I'll show you guys what we're looking at. So team of the week this week, okay? We've got Ben Yedder. We've got Raphael Leal. We've got Harlan, Madison, Musiala, Werner, all OP cards. Even this class card wouldn't be too bad of a shout. This class card will probably rise outside of packs. He is around discard right now. Um, so if you can get him for a discard price, he'll probably go to 16, 7K, 17K outside of like outside of the team of the week. Um, regardless. Rafael Leal is a card I'm very interested in, chat. He's at 152k, but his gold card, which is going to be out of packs for the next, I don't know, week, because he's in Team of the Week, is actually at 15k. And if you actually go to this graph, he hasn't been 15k for a week. And 15k was the lowest he got. So the fact that this man has dropped 6k... Since being in Team of the Week is mental. He also dropped because of the Sterling SBC, which we'll get onto a bit later. But he has that Sterling SBC has crashed the market big time. Regardless, this guy's going to be a good pickup because in two, three days' time, he is a well sought after player. And being at 15k, if he's got no supply on the market, what happens? Supply versus demand, he's going to rise. He's probably going to hit, I'd say he's probably going to hit 19, 20K by, I'd say, two days after weekend league. So maybe Tuesday, Wednesday, I'd say. He'll probably be at like 20K. So Schlotterback is another good example of someone that's going to rise over time. He's a card that's going to get upgrades and he's going to get upgrades pretty soon. Yes, Dortmund have a slightly tough run, but Dortmund in theory should get at least four wins you know is it three or four i'm pretty sure it's four he should get the wins required being at dortmund to get that second upgrade or that first upgrade and in theory germany should win a game at the world cup if they don't it is what it is but it's a very low risk investment because he's almost discard you could probably pick him up i'm pretty sure i picked mine up for 13k i'm probably gonna buy a few more of them but it is more of a long-term thing if you have coins sitting there doing nothing 
I'd invest in some Schlotterbacks because let's be real, once this card gets two or three upgrades, he's going to be a really, really solid card. I don't know if you can change him to lengthy. I haven't checked. You probably can. Yeah, you can. Even better. Um, but yeah, so this card is a card that's going to be upgraded. I'd say he'll probably have an upgrade within a month. But as an 84, more than likely, what his upgrade will be. And then if he gets upgraded again, he'll be an 85, 86. It's not a discard card, really. It's 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 not. Like, he's going to go up in price. And especially being out of packs, you'll probably start to see a lot of these one-to-watch cards be a bit more rare. Um, Benyet is another card I was curious about. He's, he's dropped about 8k since yesterday, chat. He's dropped about 8k since yesterday um eight to six k it's a hard one because i don't really see this card in very many teams usually i'd say go all out if this card dropped that much he's gonna get rare people are still gonna upgrade to him but honestly i haven't really seen him this year so i'm a bit skeptical about this card but nonetheless he is going to be out of packs for a few days at least so i wouldn't be surprised by monday tuesday to see this card at 25k again I just prefer the look of layout if you're investing up to that that sort of price range, you know? Uh, and then Phil Foden's another card that is going to be out of packs. This card, look, he's 27K. He has dropped a significant amount. He's dropped like 5K roughly. But I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this card chat. I think he will rise purely based off the fact People are looking to get Akanji, Haaland, these sorts of players in their teams. English as well. You can also look to get that Raheem Sterling card, which is an insanely priced card, to be honest. Actually, I'm just going to make this big screen because I don't, I don't know why that to begin with. Regardless, this Phil Bowden card, man, he has the potential to rise. Whether he does or doesn't, I think time's going to tell, but... I, I like this card as an investment, man. I like it a lot. Purely based off the fact he's got a bunch of position changes. He's going to be out of packs for a week. Speculatively. Speculative? I don't even know if that's the right word. But it is speculated that he is going to be in the road to the final. Which every year always provides you a lot and a lot of coin making opportunities. So... I, I really like the look of this card, and I could see this card rising to 35k. I think he's limited on what he can rise to, just because he's not the most meta card. Uh, but I do think this card's going to rise quite nicely. And yeah, other than that, man, like one to watches, we're just going to have a quick glance through the prices. 1.7 for Haaland. Anthony's a card who I've actually been considering picking up. He's got a lot of hype to him. Yes, he is extremely expensive for what you're getting. But if this card gets an upgrade, you best believe this man's price is going to absolutely fly. Absolutely fly, chat. He's down 20k today. Um, they play United played this morning 3-2 against um, Ammonia, I think it was. Uh, I got up for that game. And look, United didn't look too crash hot. But every single game United played this year this card is going to fly and drop depending on performances. So this is a very risky, very, very risky investment, but there is a lot of potential to make a lot of coins here. Like even if he scores one goal, this card will fly. He might not get into the team of the week, so you're probably better off selling that as soon as he scores because he will be panic ball like crazy. Um... But if he does score that second goal, uh, you, you're going to be kicking yourself. But regardless, I do like this card. I think it's a very interesting card. Dybala, very, very cheap. Plays for Roma. He's, he's 140k. It's not super cheap, but it is cheap for what you're getting. This card will more than likely win a game at the World Cup. Roma are a decent team this year. They've actually got a really, really good squad put together um, by Jose. So I like this card. I think he's going to get the correct amount of wins and... If I'm not mistaken, there is a way you can actually... Where is it? Where is it, chat? Uh, tracker. Is it tracker? No, I feel like it's not tracker. What am I doing, chat? There's a way. Dynamic players. There we go. So if you go into a footbin, you can actually see who they have matched up against um, and how many wins. So you only need three wins out of eight. So you can see who they've matched up against and see how many wins they already have. So all these sorts of players... In potentially two games time, they could be upgraded, which is a big deal. It's a really, really big deal at the start of FIFA. So yeah, 
Dybala here already won one. They should beat Lise and they should beat Sampdoria. So this card will probably get a plus one upgrade at least. He might even get an inform within the next two weeks, but he will become an 87 card within what? Two weeks time? Two, three weeks time in theory. So yeah, I think I really like the look of Dybala, man. I really like the look of Dybala because you look at all of his previous cards and... I mean, he goes for a solid price every year. Last but not least, Sterling, man. 160k. People are tossing up between doing a bunch of these different SBC cards. Because there are a lot out right now. There are a lot out right now. Um, players only. So you've got Sterling, Gakpo. I really like Gakpo because he is cheap. He's only like 20k. He's a very good superstar. But Verde's too expensive. He's supposed to be getting the road to the final as well. Thiago Silva, I like. I actually did him. Um, but he, again, he is very, very expensive. Kessie, quite expensive. We'll probably get an upgrade or two, but time will tell with that one. Um, Kim Min Jae, good card, kind of expensive. Um, Rashford, decent card, kind of expensive. But Sterling for 150k. Tell you what, if he gets an inform, okay? In theory, if this man gets an inform, you're usually looking at around 200k for his inform card. Usually. He offers really good links. He's can be changed from left wing to right wing. And don't forget that with one to watch cards, when they get three wins, he gets an upgrade. Chelsea, in theory, should get three wins. Like if they don't, it is what it is. England should get a win at the World Cup. That's already two upgrades. Plus, he's their main man at the moment. So I don't, I wouldn't knock this card out of the ranks of getting an inform or popping up with one or two goals here and there. So. I really, really like the look of Raheem Sterling this year. Um, I think it's going to be a huge card for a lot of people based on his price. He also gets that link to Alba as well. Um, so yeah, this this Sterling, man, like for the price, 150k, if he fits your team, you'd be stupid not to do him. You'd be stupid not to do him, especially when you consider that they EA have gone out and said at the start of this year that if a player does really well and they get they they are capable of getting weak foot and skill move upgrades so if we do see a sterling card that hits two goals with his left foot you best believe he's gonna have four star weak foot four star four star with this sort of card with an upgrade or two man it's gonna be mental um but yeah that's pretty much just covering the market in a nutshell really quickly um there are a lot of other cards that i like the look of as well but yeah the main ones for me this next few days are going to be the likes of layout the, the the ones that are going out of packs so layout ben Yedda. who else do we have chat um Schlotterback, i like the look of and phil foden they're, they're they're my main four picks but yeah at the end of the day it's been your boy and yeah hopefully you get some good stuff i'll link my twitch down below if you want to if you want to support me over there i'd love to see you guys come along and tune in for some streams but regardless happy trading and i'll catch you in the next one peace